at this place. I mean, this is one of the most historic political landmarks in the state of New Hampshire, so it's obviously great to be here. I brought my friend Nikki, who's absolutely crushing it, going all across the state. Um, one big message for everybody, it's about getting out the vote, right? This is crunch time, this is the exciting uh, part of the campaign. No one does it like the state of New Hampshire, right? So we want as many folks to come out on Tuesday. Um, as governor, I have promised one thing, great weather. I've put in a lot of political capital to promise great weather. Um, but Nikki, I mean, we're, we're in Hollis this morning. We stopped, at, we stopped at our friend Mojo's this morning. We're here. We're going to do other stops later today for the next three or four days, just crisscrossing the state. So as Nikki crisscrosses and meets folks, you got to get out. Your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, whatever it takes to make this thing happen. Let's get record turnout on Tuesday. And let's show this entire country that America thinks forward and can hit, hit an entire reset button on the whole presumptions of this election. This is where it happens. This is where the excitement is. And this is where the candidates earn it on the ground. With that, I'm going to introduce my, my new best friend, uh, Nikki Hill. Thanks so much, Chris. All you got to do is look at the back and see all eyes are on New Hampshire. And look, New Hampshire gets to make this major decision. Do we want more of the same or do we want to go forward? It's that simple. More of the same is not just Joe Biden. More of the same is Joe Biden and Donald Trump. 70% of Americans don't want a rematch between Biden and Trump. The majority of Americans disapprove of Biden and Trump. Everybody knows Biden and Trump put us trillions of dollars in debt that our kids will never forgive us for. We know that Biden and Trump are both involved in investigations and distractions. We have a country to save. The only way we're going to save her is if we go forward with a new generational leader that puts the negativity and the baggage behind and focuses on the solutions of the future. And what we know is we can't have a President Kamala Harris. We won't survive it. And the only way we do that is you've got to have somebody who can win in November. But head to head in these polls, Trump is tied with Biden. On a good day, he might be up by two. We defeat Biden by 17 points. That means we win the House, we win the Senate, we win governorships. It's a mandate to get wasteful spending out of out of the way and get our economy back on track. It's a mandate to get our kids reading again and go back to the basics on education. It's a mandate to secure our borders once and for all. No more, no more excuses. It's a mandate to get law and order back on track, get fentanyl out of here and make sure we have a strong America. We're gonna do this, go tell 10 people, get everybody out at the polls on Tuesday. We're gonna do this in a way that makes you proud. Thank you very much for coming out. Great to see you, God bless you.